kaunti ya Nyandarua inajulikana pakubwa kwa ukuzaji wa viazi ambapo huzalisha zaidi ya asilimia thelathini ya zao hilo humu nchini. Hata hivyo wakulima ukabiliwa na changamoto za ubora wa mazao na beiduni. Mkulima mmoja kutoka Marekani ameapa kubadilisha taswira hiyo kwa kutumia teknolojia ya kuzalisha mbegu kupitia vipandikizi vya shina. Mwanahabari wetu Dennis Otieno anazamia mbinu hiyo ya kilimo kwenye makala ya wiki hii ya kilimo biashara. Chris Gasberry alisomea udaktari alipozaliwa nchini Marekani. Hata hivyo, aliporejea humo nchini miaka sita iliyopita, alijitosa kikamilifu kwenye kilimo baada ya kutambua masaibi ya kulima wa viazi. I started in the ware production business of the potatoes and then as I realized that the seeds weren't there to continue my business, I started to research uh, into ways to be able to produce my own seeds and that's how I got into uh, this new technology of apical root cuttings. Na ni katika jiji la Charagita, kaunti ya Nyandarua, tunapompata Chris kwa shamba lake la ekari kumi. Hapa, Chris anatumia teknolojia ya kuzalisha mbegu za viazi kupitia vipandikizi vya shina. Vipandikizi hivi vinafanana na mbegu inayopandwa kwenye kiunga cha miche, tofauti kuu ikiwa ni haizalishwi kupitia mbegu. Mkulima huyu anasema kuwa kilimo cha viazi humu nchini kina nafasi nzuri sana hasa katika uzalishaji wa mbegu za aina hiyo. With just the farming practices that we're introducing uh, with this model, uh, we've actually doubled production for some of these farmers in that you'd see the average farmer can produce around 60 bags per acre. We're averaging over 100 acres on our farm, over 100 bags per acre. It has a multi-use. You can use it for chips, you can use it for baking, you can use it for mokimo, you can use it for uh, githeri. Hata hivyo ili kutumia teknolojia hii, mkulima atagaramika kiasi. On the hub site when we start with an apical root cutting, they can range anywhere between 10 shillings to 15 shillings per piece. So that's per plant. So if you're looking at it on an acreage, uh, you use about 17,000 to 20,000 cuttings per acre. So it's somewhere between 200,000 to 250,000. Mbali na kuboresha kiwango cha mazao, Chris anatumia mbinu hii kuwezesha wakulima kuepuka madalali wanaowanyanyasa. Denis Otieno, Runinga ya Citizen.